Sophie's working on one sheep Brandon taught her yesterday and she's actually getting his head down really well. Proud of her. We're waiting for Fiona. She's on her way. She hit every red light. This is a new thing for them. Every time she puts it, he puts his head down, she releases the pressure and gives him a little scratch and says, Good boy. Yeah, that sounds good, Sophie. I tried to get closer to you. Drinking courage from my Your legs back underneath you. Remember, we're not relying on our stirrups, we're relying on our thighs. Up now. I will soon make a move. How did their lesson go yesterday? Unbelievable. Gabby struggled a lot, had a really hard lesson. No, I didn't. Gabby did not struggle very hard yesterday and did not have a hard lesson. She um, getting him under her and just, like she's, she's, they are still, every time he goes, remember when she first bought him, she found it really hard to ride him because yep. she had to build all those muscles. Yep. Shortly, yep. Don't try and boss the trainer. So, that's all it is. Like she, she's back at stage one with him again. Like trying to get all that well, stuff. Well, I'm putting him together again now that he's starting to get. He's fitting yeah. up again. Yeah. Because I mean, it doesn't come overnight after being off her. Yeah. Like yeah. Weeks. That's all I meant is that like she, she's having to build it all back up again right now with him. Yeah. Grip with your thighs, not your feet. Trying my best not to lose control. You're putting your horse together there, Miss Sophie. Wow, never thought we'd hear those words. She said, should I tell Fiona that I'm learning to, to frame him or should we just keep it a secret? Because <laughs> she'll make me do it. <laughs> I'm like, no, if you're learning it, you might as well do it. Struggle is, is I think we both teach it very differently, so I don't want to. Well, what do you what do you do? I think you actually maybe teach it. You guys have a lot similar. We do. We just speak different words. Mm-hmm. And you support differently. All right. I want you to lift your hands up. Remember, when you're framing, don't bury them down by your knees. Yeah, that's what he says too. If you put them down, you're just going to put your body forward onto his shoulder, which isn't going to help. You just keep your hands close together and just gently play with your reins. See, he does that. Say, Good. Yeah. When he puts his head down, stop playing. It's a reward. Yeah, that's what he said too. Rising. Same thing, just hold, you're just gonna hold your reins like you're holding two baby birds and close your leg and put oh, them in Oh, I forgot hand. to bring the eggs. Did you see that thing I sent you with yeah. the eggs? Isn't that a fun idea? Especially if I hard boiled them so they don't ruin our saddles. That this one doesn't close her fingers. She'd learn. No, she wouldn't. She'd hold her hands open wider because she doesn't want to squeeze it. Oh. But if you go to the dollar store and you know those um, stress balls 
Yeah. That you can, if you squeeze it, it balloons out the other Yeah, end. we probably have a hundred of them. Get two of them, or four of them, and make her hold them so the balloon is ballooned. So she has to actually squeeze them okay. to hold her reins closed. Okay. But it'll give a different sensation in her hand, so she'll be aware of it all the time. Yeah, and it'll be a lot better than uh, eggs. <laughs> yes. So, Sophie, don't yank back or you'll ruin everything you've worked on all day yesterday. Yeah. Loosen your reins a little bit. They're a little too short. Yes. You're just, you're trying to slow them down too much. So you need to have them a little bit longer because for him to put his head in, he's got to use his entire neck. So if your reins are too short, then he can't actually bring his nose in. He's got to have a little bit of rain to be able to bring his nose in. Shorten yours a little bit, Gabby. We're framing the Arab framing. <laughs> now lift your hands up by your martingale. No, don't make them shorter. Now just play with them in your front of your martingale. Little massages, make him bend his nose a little bit to the inside. He's like, I don't know what's happening here, but... Chino, I'd like you to go for a canter. And I'd like you to keep him together with your legs. rain just a little bit higher than your outside not across his neck just straight up yes and and then just give a little squeeze with it and push with your left heel little squeeze yes good boy give him a little scratch on the neck hold your outside hand still lift your inside one give it a big half hold for a second lean your shoulders back Don't drop it down by your knee. Lift it up. Yes. There. Good boy. As soon as his chin tucks down, put your hand down. So lift. Inside leg. Push him over. Lift. And half halt with it. Lift and half halt. Don't pull back. Yes. Good job. Lift. Leg. Half halt. Yep. Good job. Ask again. Lift. Leg half halt. All comes together. Yes. Good boy. Eventually we take the lift away. We're going to canter. Sophie's been really good at her canter. Do you see Sophie? Like she doesn't even complain anymore. She's finally at that stage where Gabby got when she was 11. When? <laughs> Good girl. Keep your hands out by his martingale so he doesn't get head flippy. Can you see? Watch out. Tall. Good. Support your body with your thighs, my dear. Those things that burn that are attached to your hip. Yeah, that's the other thing she was learning about to Rip. sit up. More. Remember, knee in but not on. Better. Hold that booty up. Don't let it touch that saddle. That's a good canter right there. She's also getting more comfortable with him allowing him to stretch out. Yeah. Makes me nervous when she leans so far forward. Little half hole. Because he stops so fast. Remember, you're not leaning on his neck, right? 
If he stops, you're gonna slide right off. It's your job to hold yourself up with your legs, not his. Sometimes you have to learn that lesson the hard way though. Yeah, I know. I just don't wanna go back right now because she's so far. I know. If she is gonna come off, she better do it in the sand ring too. Yeah. Very nice. Rising trot, not a walk, rising trot. A little breath and say trot. Good boy. Slow your rise, lift your hands. I'm nervous to see what he's going to be like once he goes to uh, the new place. If he could just stay with Chino and... Much better. Do their own thing, I think it would work out. Very good transition. Keep it moving forward. Nope, just trotting. Slow your rise. Think about landing softly and quietly. And your hands are up by that martingale. And trot over the roll tops. Yeah, because she did some jumping yesterday that was scary and she didn't complain. But she do? uh Release! That's the one Good that. Job. We gotta fix our lead, so trot. That's canter. That's the one that she was nervous about yesterday. Do you have much more control you gain? Look. Great. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let him walk. That was beautiful. How did it feel? Very crooked. Yeah. <laughs> A little crooked. Yeah. I know, I'm like, wait, where is she going there? probably sees Chino now. There. Keep your canner. You got your lead. Outside leg, outside leg, outside leg. Good girl. Now breathe. Coming back to the bounce again. Stay tall. Use your body to support you. Soft hand. He's getting, uh-oh. Uh Keep girl. going. You got it. You got it. it Good you job. You stopped him. Do a circle. Don't let him go near Chino. You're riding him, Sophie. That's right. Stay tall, stay tall, stay tall. There. You make the decisions. Stay tall. Now look at your red pole. Look at your red pole. Put him on the red pole. Yes. Now look up at Dad. Two, one, one, two, three. Good job. <laughs> sit up, sit up, sit up. Thank you. There, look. To the middle of the fence, the white dot. Good job! Simple lead change. So trot, breathe out, lean back, and canter. She needs she needs rides like this to teach her she can. Good job! Now sit up tall, taller. Yes, good girl! Who's the boss? Who's in control? That's right. Stand up, use your thighs, push your heel to the ground. There it is. Look up to the middle of your fence. Middle, now look to the end of the arena. 
two, three. Good job. Fix your lead, please. Trot. Make him and canter. Nope. Try again. Trot. Lean back. Push your feet forward. Good girl. Put him straight first and can't. Yes. Canter past Chino and you may walk. We always want to make sure we get our correct lead so he knows who's the boss here. Now you may walk. That was really good. Way better. I thought I was going to die, but... I thought I was going to die. <laughs> we weren't as crooked. You did very good. You weren't as crooked because you took control and you said, no, we're going left. Right off the beginning. Yeah, and did you see what happened when he was trying to buck you a whole bunch of times? You said, no, you're not bucking me anymore, buddy. And he's like, oh, shoot. I wasn't going to go over this when we were going really fast. I know, but look, he, I don't think he's going to try and buck you too much anymore because... No, he's not bucking. He's hopping. Yeah, hopping. I don't think he's going to do that hopping thing too much anymore because you stop him each time. He tries it and tries it. Just you notice that, though? He tries and tries. Oh, yeah, he starts with a head shake to piss her off. Yeah, and like, are you going to stop me? Are you going to stop me? Yeah, and now that you stop him, he doesn't get any more. He's got a great big poo stain. All right, Look at he's got to this go. too. Did you see this? Where that bumblebee yeah. sting was? Well, that's what that was. I, we yeah, think it was. It, off. it was just like a little, a little teeny dot, and then it turned that into it's that. A little more swollen now. Because he Ooh. scratched it, and the scab thing came off. Yeah. Like I think it was a bumblebee sting. Doesn't affect him. He always put a little poise board on it with him. All right. I would highly suggest not cooling out with storm. Yeah, we're not going to do that. She won't do that. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way.